Well, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today in the belly of the beast, just completing up a build of T480s and an E480. So over here, we've got Lenovo T480s. This one has a 256 SSD. This one has a 500 megabyte standard drive. And here is the E series. So of course the T series are rugged, the E series are less rugged. This looks a lot different from uh, any of the E series I've seen in the past. I don't like taking E series around flying because they will die, especially if you put it in the luggage of your plane. I've had that happen to me a few times. And um, the T series is where it's at. But honestly, I'm not seeing a big difference between these two systems. So both E series, or sorry, ET420. Uh, about the same height. Keyboard's a lot alike. So apparently this one's more rugged. Maybe feels a little bit more rugged. But anyways, let's see what we got over here on the side. We have, okay, that is uh, where you plug in your uh, LAN, your mini LAN cable, if you have it for these ones. And then over there, of course, we got the lock, the, the SD card reader, uh, you know, network USB, HDMI USB headset. And then that's all. And over here we have, oh, we actually got a little bit more. We got two USBs headset, HDMI. We have a lock, USB, and network, and really nothing on the back. Let's take a quick look at what we got on the bottom. So this one looks like it'll be a bit more difficult to uh, get into. Let's see. take a look at the T-Series. Yeah, almost the same thing. Oh man, so get this, the E-Series has a battery specifically on the inside, and the T-Series has it on the outside, and it is so small, guys, it's like nothing. It's like nothing. Yeah, it looks like it'll be the same difficulty to get into either of them. No hard drive bays on either side. And really nothing at the back, so just like getting in, into the, uh, the Carbon X1. Um, talk a little bit about what we've got here. A lot of programs installed so far, so good. But anyways, these are like i7, I'm oh sorry, i5 systems, eighth generation tags. And, um, one sec, get the specs back. Oh, here they are. Yeah, eight gigs of RAM, 108 gigahertz, uh, i5, 8250 CPUs. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, let's gonna put these things through their benchmarks. Alright, so the E-Series system definitely sits higher, and uh, interestingly enough, it comes with McAfee, and um, yeah, McAfee install. Let's take a look at this system. Yeah, not bad. A little bit of an older chip, 8 gigs, and I uh, got an SSD in the inside. Let's take this in for a spin, shall we? Alright, folks, let's get this benchmark going. These two going at the exact same time. Okay. T480 SSD, T480 HHD, E480 solid state drive. That's what we got going on here. And now, let me get us to a way that you can see everything nicely.
Like it crashed on this one. What? There we go. Huh. Can't move up or down on the mouse. That's the first time that's ever happened. I wonder if something happened here because this system I did do the Lenovo updates through. That one I did not. These things equally suck. Wait, I got some red on here. Unable to run desired resolution. Huh. That's interesting. So yeah, I updated all the drivers on that one, but not on that one. Interesting blacks and this one and that one look a lot nicer than the one in the middle. Look truer. Yeah. 
not take these boxes. If you do, your life might be short. Okay. So these are these, these, boxes. These, these yeah, because yeah, I need them to ship out dies. Okay. So this is the size I really want to keep. And I can't keep them anywhere else but here. Sounds good. I won't take all your money. Yeah, not those two. I want my Motor City ones too. I might for not. Uh, so you can have that out if you're going to have this one. Sounds good, sir. Appreciate you. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. This is some different stuff. We got a pass mark rating of 3,100, 2,300, 2,800. That is fascinating. So this one went on the CPU. Oh, the disc took a bit of a hit. A few hundred points hit. Memory graphics to the huh. not sure if you guys can see the number. So over here, the best performing one. Got a good disc. Geez, that is interesting. The disc mark that we got on that. So memory. Yes. Average these two up. 8,000. What made it so different? Uh, let's take a look. It couldn't have just been uh, the hard drive, could it? Oh yeah, you gotta. So, um, Okay, let's get a bit more into that then. Alright, so here we have the in-depth info. Oh. Alright, let's take a look inside. All right, open-ended side-by-side -side comparison. They don't really look much alike. The battery's not much alike. Motherboard's not much alike. In uh, the T, the T480 unit, we have one stick of RAM, one extra with nothing there. Here's where the hard drive goes. And I imagine that is where the SSD would go if you had an unbelievably small one. Seriously, I'm not seeing any place for an MVM2 or whatever card in here. You just have to get to a regular solid state. So, over here, of course, we have the E480. Uh, and we actually have an MVE and a standard solid hard drive. So that's interesting. I didn't know we had a standard hard drive in there. When it was advertised, I'm pretty sure it was just advertised with the M2 card. And that's all I cared about. So, interesting. Interesting stuff. Easy to get out. Just, uh unscrew and generally go along with one of these suckers and then you'll get in so that's pretty much it for me never from this tech that's like and subscribe if you like this stuff always appreciated and have a good one folks catch you later